There are only 3 months left in 2022. Among so many soccer cleats and turf shoes I have tried this year, there were the ones that were both above and below my expectations. And in today's video, I will review 2 soccer cleats and 2 turf shoes that I think were the best of 2022. If you liked the video today, please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. The first and the best soccer cleats is the Nike Zoom Mercurial Vapor 15 Elite that was released this summer. They are purely amazing that I immediately bought the AG version after I tried out the FG version because of the Zoom Air bag specifically designed for soccer cleats. There had been Zoom Air applied in soccer cleats before but the one in Vapor 15 is unique that there are 4 flex grooves dividing into parts and it is so thin that it almost feels like the part of the outsole. The Zoom Air is so well made that it gives the cushion feeling and energy return at the same time. If I exaggerate a little bit, it almost feels like the hard artificial grass ground turned into a trampoline. And also because of the cushioning, my feet were less tired after the game. Aside from Zoom Air, the newly designed mesh upper softly but tightly wraps around your feet, but at the same time they stretch out really well to your foot shape that there was no break in time required for these new Mercs. I have tried them out in both long and short artificial grass fields, and the Vapor 15 Elite gives excellent performance in every aspect, including the sticky ball touch feeling, decent shooting, great attraction, and the soft but tight fit. The the only downside is that AG model studs are same length as the FG model that they were hard on my knees and ankles playing on artificial grass. I wore them in my usual size US 8.5 or 265mm. They run a little long about one fourth of my thumbnail left and the width was slightly tight at first but they quickly adopted to my foot shape to the point that the tightness does not bother me anymore. As usual Nike Mercurials are not made for the people who have white feet and if you have white feet but desperate to wear Nike Mercurials, I recommend plus 5mm or go half a size big. Otherwise, I recommend going true to your size. Overall, the Vapor 15 are the all-time best cleats for me that I would have worn them every time if I was not a reviewer. The second best cleats of 2022 are Puma Future Z 1.3 and 1.4, which are well known as Neymar soccer cleats. The first two Puma Future Z 1.1 and 1.2 were not impressive except for the outsole stability. But since the Future Z 1.3, the fit has improved dramatically thanks to the knitted material on toe box area becoming way softer and the thick cushioning in the internal lining. So overall, the fit reminds me of the soft natural leather cleats and the fusion fit on the midfoot area area tightly wraps around the top of your foot. Since Puma officially stated in the tag that they can be worn without laces, I wore them laceless for 2 months without any problem. However, I had to put the laces back after 2 months because the pressure on the top of the foot reduced down to like 80% compared to when they have laces. What I also like about Puma's soccer cleats these days is their MG studs which stand for multi-ground. They're about half the length of FG studs and 25 round studs are put together to give you such a steady traction even on the short artificial grass field. For those of you who play on artificial grass most of the time like me but are hesitant to wear FG studs because of injury or knee and ankle overwork, MG stud soccer cleats are great options for you. The size of future is a bit difficult to choose. I wear them as my usual size US 8.5 or 265mm. They were even narrower than the same size mercurials so I needed like 3 to 4 hours of break in time until they adopted to my size. They are narrow but run a little long about 3 fourth of my thumbnail left which makes it impossible to go half a size up or half a size down. Although they are not as perfect as Nike Mercurials, I don't have any complaints about Puma Futures overall fit, ball touch, shooting and traction. The best turf shoes of 2022 are Athleta Ore A005. They have been on the market for several years now, but it was hard to get them while I was in the US, so I tried them out as soon as I came back to Korea this year. My opinion about Athleta Ore is that they set a standard of how turf shoes should be made. The upper's kangaroo leather's quality is comparable to the professional level leather cleats. The cushion internal lining is just enough to wrap around the feet softly, but does not feel stuffy at all. 
The lining of the tongue and heel area is sticky but made out of soft suede material which holds your feet well. The energy return of the outsole was the best out of all the turf shoes I have tried and the midsole was thick enough to give a decent cushioning. I've worn them several times during the futsal match and I have no complaints about its performance but because they are a little high on the heel area, they are the best option for playing soccer on artificial grass for those who are worried about ankle and knee overwork from FG or AG studs. The feature I like the most about Athleta Ore is their touch feeling. When I receive the ball with them, it literally feels like the ball becomes glued to your feet. Also when I dribble, the ball goes to the exact point where I expect them to be which makes the dribbling more stable. Also it is such a value for money about $100 per pair excluding the shipping price. Choosing the right size is a little bit difficult because the length is too long. The easiest way is just going down half a size or minus 5 millimeter from the Nike Adidas Puma soccer cleats that you have. The second best turf shoes of 2022 are the Nike Zoom Mercurial Vapor 15 Pro TF. I personally think that the previous generation Vapor 14 was more comfortable and fit better to my playstyle, but the Vapor 15 still wraps around your feet tightly while the upper is flexible at the same time. The V-shaped texturing and the sticky coating on the upper helps with the grip on the ball better than the Vapor 14. Also, the dash shaped studs felt like a downgrade from the previous generation at first, but the traction is stable both on short futsal field to the big artificial grass soccer fields. But the zoom air in the heel doesn't have much cushioning and it's almost non-existent compared to the Elite model. So overall, I think they're still a good option and outperforms almost every turf shoes currently in the market. I went my usual size US 8.5 or 265 millimeter and the length has about one fourth of my thumbnail left and the midfoot and toe box area fit perfectly like they're customized to my foot shape. In conclusion, the best soccer cleats and turf shoes are the ones that fit to your feet the best. However, out of all the soccer cleats I've tried out, the Zoom Air in Vapor 15 is revolutionary and perfect that I can't imagine how better it is going to evolve in the next Vapor 16. The Puma Future 1.3 and 1.4 are the best outcome of Puma's investment on soccer cleats last few years and I recommend them to the people who like wearing natural leather cleats. The Vapor 15 Pro TF and Athleta Ore are both good for futsal and soccer on artificial grass so I recommend buying one of those instead of buying two cheap soccer cleats and futsal shoes separately. And one more thing, I really really recommend trying out Vapor 15 Elite and Athleta Ore. They are purely amazing.